Hello and welcome back to my garage. Today we are still working on the Alpha 75. This will be the final video for now. There isn't any more videos to show you. This is just all what we have done to the car. Like I said in other videos before, this is shot two years ago, so if the video quality and the sound isn't there, sorry for that, but that is how it is. Do you want to know more about it? Watch the first one. But this is Kevin's car. The Alpha 75 and in this video we're going to remove the gearbox. Enjoy! Hello and welcome back to my garage. Today we're going to work on the Alfa Romeo again and this time we're going to do something with that window wiper mechanism. Yeah, I'm still Dutch, so I'm still struggling with long and complicated English words, so forgive me for that. Is it broken? No, it isn't broken, uh, but Kevin wants a, well, I don't know how you call it, but a mono wiper. I think that's the best uh, uh, thing how I can describe it. And what I mean by that is that you have just a single wiper blade in the middle of the car. And that thing does a whole sweep from left to right to left to right. It is a style that is forgotten. You don't see it very often anymore in the tuning scene, but Kevin wants it on his car and he doesn't know that I'm going to do this with, uh, with his car. And uh, so it's a bit of a surprise for him. It is pretty easy to do, especially when the passenger side of the wiper blades is in the middle. And that's most of the time with every car. If it's not, then it's definitely a bit com more complicated than that. But because this one is almost dead in the center, the we only have to modify this arm. Well, I did revise the whole system. The reason was is just, even if it did work, it just keeps on binding. And it was just annoying as hell. So I uh, completely re revised the system. And as you can see, I uh, chopped off the most of it. So this thing, that was setting right here, is this now gone. And uh, I've come up with this, but... It does work. Uh, I wanted to have about 170 degrees of motion, but that is not going to happen. If I want to do that, then I really have to redesign and make it well make just a complete new unit and i could not use the parts that i have now so i had to scatter around for other things and it was just something i just did not want to do so i do think i have something between well 155 and 160 degrees of motion it's still a lot but not as much as i wanted if he really wants the full sweep, then we have to revise it again. But for now, as a surprise for him, I think I did a good job. He's coming tomorrow, so I will weld it all up now and uh, put it in the car. And hopefully I give him a little bit of a pleasant surprise and a bit of boost to keep on going with the car. There was a big pause between well, replacing the brake lines and that we did the water pump. So uh, he could have driven the car in the summer if he just had invested a couple of uh, evenings or even some weekends. Uh, it is not a lot of work to get his car rolling on the road again. But oh well, it's now almost full and he still did not drive this car. Well, he did said he want to come tomorrow, so I want to have this installed and hopefully it will give him a little bit more boost to, well, invest some time in the car. Of course, I could build this whole car for him. It, in a couple of days, I would have it done and, and got some, uh, and even with uh, the annual safety check and everything in it. But then again, he doesn't learn from it and I want him to learn how to manage a project like this and that it is completely stupid to well strip your whole car 
I did it myself in the past. Um, I still do it. And what happens is um, a project comes to a halt and a project that doesn't roll isn't a fun project. So if I give, can give someone some advice and if you really want a project car, then by all means buy one, but make sure everything you can do within a weekend or maybe in two weekends. So maybe one day of one weekend you are going lowering the car. Uh, the other weekend you're going to replace your seats. And maybe the other weekend after that you are going to, I don't know, uh, do something with the engine. But be sure that you can drive the car again after a weekend. So you can drive your cars. You can, of, for most people out there, driving the car will motivate them to do something more with, uh, with that project. And that's of course is a good thing. But there are a lot of guys that are like Kevin that wants all of it. <laughs> New interior, uh, turbocharge. Yeah, he wants to turbocharge this car also. But I said to him, oh no, not, not right now. We're go first going to make it road legal again. And after that, we will see. So maybe it, it a few for some future videos that we're going to turbocharge this thing. But like I said, he stripped down everything and it sat somewhere. It sat at his work and it just, the years went by and nothing happened to this car. It's really a shame because personally, I don't like this car. The design eh, isn't that special in my opinion. And the way it's, it is put together, I don't really like that. So, but then again, that is my personal opinion about this car, but this isn't my car. It is Kevin's car and I can be getting real passionate about something if someone else is real passionate about it, and then I want to help and then I don't care what kind of car it is. I will work on it as long as he is happy. I'm feeling happy too. Uh, it is just a win-win. I don't because I don't like a car, I can really enjoy watching someone else loving that car. And I can enjoy the work that is put into a car, even though I don't maybe like it. Maybe some weird mods and, and body kits around it. But if someone really puts it, the effort in there, I can really enjoy some craftsmanship. And I love that people do it uh, by themselves instead of, well, paying a shop to do almost everything for them it's it's just it is just like i have said before this is for me what is owning a car all about and hopefully we can get this car on the road in just a couple of weeks so what did i do i i cut off most of the uh linkage and yeah, I, I'm, I'm lengthening a little bit this one, and this one is a little bit more length. And well, this is what it is. So yeah, it's, it's now a complete package that works. So what I'm going to do now is weld this arm a little bit and take this on a couple of places or maybe even let it as it is and put it in the car and see if everything comes, comes together. Well, let's see uh, how it fits. As I said, this thing is in its way, so we have to modify that. Hopefully that was enough.
it clears just barely. But barely is good. It is now a really big gamble to where to put this thing. So the arm is extended that way. Somewhere here. Let's try that again. I did well now everything back in its place or at least I think it should be. I have no idea how it must sit right now so hopefully we don't break anything. If that is the place then I just did I now put it just in the place that it should be? Well, I am a little bit off, but that is not too shabby. So let's dial it in a bit more or a bit better. So it's not going to be an even wipe right now. It will be clearing more this way than it does that way. But we can adjust it a little bit with uh, on the on the motor. I rather have this side more clean than this side. But that is uh, up to Kevin. If he wants it symmetric, then we do that. And uh, if he wants to, well. Either way, it's fine with me, of course, but for now, to let him show it, it does work. And it does sit in the center right now. Hopefully he is happy with uh, the results uh, we did today. So uh, let's see what Kevin uh, thinks about it. So it is already the next day. Uh, Kevin will be here soon. Hopefully he likes uh, what we did to his car. Uh, the mono wiper and uh, of course also the lowering of the car itself. I don't know exactly what we're going to do today. Uh, I'm still waiting for the capacitor of the lift because this one uh, did blow up. It smells really terrible and also it's really puffed up. So I ordered a new one, So I, but I did expect it to uh, be here, well, yesterday. But it's still not here. Oh well, what can you do about it? Nothing at all. Uh, so we we'll wait to, uh, until Kevin is here. Of the car right now. Well, it looks cool. It's a bit but, low. But, but uh, it's, it's a little bit scrapey, I guess. Maybe if we uh, uh, change the caster a little bit, that it comes in its place. But we have to see what kind of uh, wheels and tires you're going to run, because you do want some uh, Wyland uh, Steelys, I believe. Yes, Wyland Steelys or the 15-inch or 14-inch Rono. Yeah, the or right. uh, original aftermarket wheels for, or the original metal wheels for this car. Yeah. 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 And also the GTV, I guess. Yeah, but, okay. Yeah. And what size is that? Uh, uh, 14 or 15. It's, it's a little bit because you have the Giulietta, the yeah. old Giulietta. It's the same undercarriage, same chassis, but it had a, a, a little bit of a, a little profile. So that's, that's the 14 inch wheel. 
and this is a 15 inch wheel and do you know the the width of the wheel i think so six, 6j yeah six and a half six maybe. and a half okay yeah it's not very wide no no it's it's a one 185 195 yeah. something like that so yeah and what do you think about your motor wiper my water wiper is awesome yeah with the compliments to you yeah compliments I to you two days two evenings i'm working on that that, that damn thing the first uh, iteration of the system was just a complete failure and uh, yesterday, uh, well, I think uh, I did a good job. I praised myself. Well, it works. Yeah, it oh, works. that's something. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a, yeah. For for me, that's uh, that's the deed something. The only problem is uh, of the thing I the thing I found uh, a bit annoying is that it's not completely about 170 degrees. But uh, if you can live with that, then uh, I'm happy. I think I, I can. But maybe in the future, maybe in the future we can yeah, maybe we can tilt it a little it. bit farther this way. Yeah, so. but that's no problem. I can just yeah. uh, adjust it uh, with the, the screw there, and then we can uh, at least uh, wipe the whole uh, well, the left side of the screen. Yeah, the driver's side, in the, yeah. at least. Yeah. But then it will be higher on this side, so uh, maybe we have to find a middle ground. But that's, that. but that's the girlfriend's side. The so girlfriend's side. That's uh, not important. Uh, well, the car is so damn fast that the girlfriend has his eyes closed. Says no one ever that driven with this car. <laughs> yeah, maybe from a cliff. But <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, stop it! Yeah, we did uh, put in the new seat, and it doesn't look that terrible. So uh, it is a bit high for Kevin. Kevin is a lot uh, longer than I am. I'm for a Dutch guy. I'm really short. So <laughs> yeah, yeah true. everything is short. <laughs> <laughs> also short temper. Oh, it's already loose. Well, yeah. So yeah. Kevin is going to uh, remove the other seat as well. It saves some time if it's already loosened. Yeah, by rust, I think. <laughs> but uh, it's really loose. <laughs> wow! Did it what? come from the factory <laughs> like this? Yeah, I think so. I think it was an option to uh, buy those uh, seats uh, bolted into the car. <laughs> Do you want your uh, Alpha? 75 deliver with or without seats. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want seat belts with that? Yeah. Yeah. Do we need to strap them now? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to put the car to the, together yourself? Yeah. Do you want a kit car? <laughs> yeah. Well, it saves some cost. Yeah, I oh, see. I see I it. Hope. At least, at least it has a steering wheel. I also see one with, uh, with just a plier. You know, a big plier <laughs> yeah. steering like that. Well, the seats came with uh, some a, a base plate of the other car that is uh, was mounted into, and the other car was, I believe, a Re Renault Five LP. So that's uh, a nice little rocket. But what we can do is uh, just drill some new holes in this base plate and bolt them down. But like I said before, the seats are a little bit high for Kevin. Um, if you want to drive it on a track or something, he needs to put on the helmet and he definitely is going to hit at least the roof. Maybe in the future we're going to cut out those brackets and uh, mount the seats directly to, to the floor. Or uh, I will rub those seats for my own car and Kevin can, uh, f I want to say fuck off, but uh, that's going to be bleeped, hey. I think. Thank <laughs> you. 
있습니다. 
Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Sit days.
Ja, ja moet ook. Toch? Ja. Oké. I did expect that it was lower at the backside. Yeah, maybe a little bit lower. Yeah. But it's still, not that, is it lower than it was? I I, I doubt it. Oh uh, well, it, it was like a gap like this, huh? so it it dropped about what what they say. I think. Yeah. Yeah. But oh. <laughs> Well, that makes a difference though. Maybe it settles now a little bit. Yeah. It's not a massive difference. No, but it, it's, it's, it's... Well, if, if that drops three and a half centimeters, then that drops 15. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I really... It is really high still at at the back. Yes, but it, it's it's the most uh, just for for just springs is the is the is this the most okay yeah yeah the shortest uh, spring you can get. I say cut it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> chop it. Chop, yeah. yeah. But with some lower profile tires and the the front is is clearing just, but not. Yeah, but if you are. Getting low um, rope. Uh, if you get low profile tires, then the gap will be much larger than it yeah, is now. But maybe uh, then, yeah, make the front axle different from the rear. No, no, no. If if you take the same tires, it will be the same. The only thing what you could do to uh, well to get some weight back into the back is uh, raise the front. But yeah. it's not going to be that much of a difference. No, no. And even we can install the gearbox, but the gearbox is hanging a little bit of the rear of the car, so it will drop a little bit. Yeah, maybe a, just a centimeter more, but maybe on, uh, one and a half centimeters, but. <clears throat> Yeah, may maybe something like so. But uh, if it's if it's if it rides like this, I will be uh, be content. Yeah, okay. <laughs> because it, it, the gearbox is hanging from the lower end of from the back. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to drop at least a little bit. Uh, weight of the exhaust exhaust will yeah, pull it down so a little bit, but just a little bit. Yeah. But if you remove your spare tire, then it will raise it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's not. A, but the, the gearbox, of course, is really a. Yeah, heavy. Yeah. It's about sixty kilos, I think. Yeah. Well, it's really heavy, but. Uh, Fifty maybe. I thought it was quite heavy, and I picked it up uh, by myself. So. <laughs> well, if you look at this. Oh, that's not a really big difference. There's definitely not a big difference. Yeah, maybe two centimeters at oh. most. At most, if it's that. No. What happens if the if the transmission is back in the car? Yeah, we have to see if uh, yeah if the transmission is back in the car, uh, we'll have we are, then we have a good look at how the right height is going to be. But of course, the front end is really slammed. Yeah, quite, yes. Well, it, st it starts to look good. Yeah. And that's it uh, for this series. I don't have any more about it. In this case, it's stranded again. Well, Kevin decided to give the gearbox to a colleague of him that has a lot of experience with gearboxes. So, uh, 
it's not a bad choice but I do think because we are now waiting and we're now waiting I do think if we had done it ourselves the car would be running right now but it is what it is so hopefully hopefully we can get the gearbox back soon fixed or unfixed it doesn't matter if it isn't fixed then we are going to do it ourselves but uh, hopefully we will get this car on the road within a well a decent amount of time but yeah that's it for this series for now uh, I'm glad that I did the montage anyway I do think there is some uh, some good value in there at least I learned a lot a lot about how to set up a video and stuff like that um, but for now that's it and hopefully we will see this car again in the near future thank you for watching and I will say bye